I am glad to welcome you to the Auto Problems channel. A car can be an investment, but you should know which models only become more expensive over the years. And these are not hypercars. Car vertical experts have studied the change in the cost of used cars and compiled a list of 10 cars that are not worth selling, every year they become more expensive. With proper care, of course, places in the rating are distributed alphabetically. All these cars add in price about the same. Alfa Romeo GTV, 1993 to 2004. The trump card of the Alfa Romeo GTV is design. The coupe was sold with four and six cylinder petrol engines. At the same time, versions with a four cylinder engine were distinguished by maneuverability. But cars with a Busso six cylinder engine are valued higher. Audi V8, 1988 to 1993. Before there was the Audi A8, the brand's flagship was the Audi V8. As the name implies, the sedan was offered exclusively with a V8 engine. Versions with six-speed manual gearboxes were also produced. Actually, Audi started competing with BMW and Mercedes-Benz with this model. BMW 540i, 1992-1996. The eight-cylinder version of the E34 was produced for only four years. As a result, the car has become a rarity. There are even fewer of them than the BMW M5 based on the E34. At the same time, the machines have approximately the same power. Jaguar XK8, 1996-2006 The Jaguar XK8 was produced in coupe and convertible body styles. This model is special in that it has raised the bar for quality, manufacturability and, accordingly, the cost of brand cars. By the way, the Jaguar XKR of those years is in even greater demand and is more expensive. Land Rover Defender, Series I Series 2. The first generations of the Defender SUV were created for those involved in agriculture. This is a rugged all-terrain vehicle with a history that is becoming less and less. In good condition, they can cost about 3 million rubles. Mercedes-Benz E300, E320, E420, E500, 1992-1996. Mercedes-Benz has produced over 2 million W124s. Most of them are already in landfills, but some are worth a fortune. Of course, the most valuable are the E500. But more modest versions are also of interest, E300, E320 and E420. Soon they will be of interest to collectors. Saab 9000 CS Aero, 1993-1997 Volvo's main problem has always been Saab. In this Saab model, special attention was paid to the safety of passengers, and the charm and power of turbocharged engines were the second trump card. The Saab 9000 CS Aero is more than just a sedan. This is a symbol of the end of an era, which has absorbed all the best. In addition, this is a very rare car. Toyota Land Cruiser, J80, J100. Toyota Land Cruiser owners are sure that this is one of the best SUVs in the world. The J80 is simple and practical, while the J100 is luxurious and great for travel. Reliability and off-road qualities have led to the fact that these cars have a high residual value. Some copies can cost up to 3.5 million rubles. Volkswagen Corrado VR6. 1991-1995 Volkswagen has a wide variety of vehicles in its lineup. Volkswagen Corrado VR6 stood apart in it. The car has an unusual appearance, an interesting engine and a perfectly tuned suspension. It is surprising why the model did not become a bestseller. People then preferred the Opel Calibra. But today it played into the hands of the owners of the Corrado VR6, the cost of the car began to grow. Volvo 740 Turbo, 1986-1990 In the 1980s, Volvo showed that the grandfather car could surprise, the 740 Turbo was as fast as the Porsche 924. Volvo had no other similar models, which makes the car unique and interesting for collectors. That's all for me, thank you all for your attention, I will be very grateful to you if you subscribe to the channel, see you soon.